Hey, welcome back everybody. Survive Outdoors, Dan Williams here. And there is a sand hill flying over. Awesome. Okay, today we're going to talk about Latroductus, the Black Widow. Um, it is a small spider, only about a half an inch long is the female. The female is the one that's venomous. The male and juveniles are not harmful to humans. And later on, we're going to show you a picture of an adult and a photograph of a juvenile, so you'll know the difference. Uh, the male is actually half the size of a female. So these are very tiny spiders, uh, extremely venomous. Their venom is actually about 15 times more potent than a rattlesnake. However, it's such a small amount, so rarely if any deaths. In fact, there hasn't been reported death, I think, in the last two decades from what I've um, researched. Uh, so that is exaggerated greatly. Um, the other thing that's exaggerated greatly is the fact that um, it used to be thought that a lot, it was very common to get these bites on the scrotum of men in an outhouse. Ouch. Um, yes, that happened. Uh, you have an outhouse, you have a very dark environment. Uh, you have feces when you have insects and bugs and you have a great opportunity to build a web and you sit down and there is this dangling thing there and then they bite if you're in that area. So it does occur but it's grossly exaggerated. It's not that common. There is the brown widow, widow, which is much less toxic than the black. Uh, it is still venomous. The black widow's web is one of the strongest webs of all spiders. In fact, its tensile strength is about the same of a, a strand of wire, the same diameter. And it's a very, very sticky web. Uh, geographically, they're mostly in the south, southwest. However, they've been found up to Massachusetts and all the way down the east coast. They, um, so right here, before we start jumping into venom, I'm going to show you a picture of a juvenile. And the juvenile is obviously smaller. It has these bamboo-like legs. It has some white stripes on its abdomen. Um, very, very pretty spider. So here's a picture of the juvenile. So the venom on this spider is much different than a uh, brown recluse. This is a neurotoxin. The uh, toxin is actually alpha latrotoxin. It is uh, proteins, protease, uh, peptides. And what it does is, it's very interesting, it actually increases the release of calcium, which then in turn increases through exocytosis, big long name, production of neurotransmitters like norepinephrine, dopamine, epinephrine. What does epinephrine do? Norepinephrine increases the heart rate, you get high blood pressure, you'll also get muscle rigidity, and you'll get pain, and it, you ache, and it hurts like hell. You've probably heard of calcium channel blockers for hypertension, and what that does is blocks calcium, so there's less release of those norepinephrines to increase your blood pressure. This does the opposite. Symptoms, you'll get high blood pressure, like we talked about, muscle rigidity. Um, it, your abdomen becomes very sore. In fact, if someone presents to me like that, I'm thinking appendix, appendix I'm thinking pancreatitis. I'm thinking those issues first. I don't usually think of the black widow bite. Um, you're going to get nausea, vomiting burning. The other thing that's interesting, if you get bit on the ankle, you're going to get ascending up the leg, pain, burning sensation, and it will affect the other leg and it will eventually affect the extremities. Symptoms occur within about the first, well immediately you may, you're going to get burning. It's going to feel like a um, tetanus vaccine at the time of the bite. And then in about 20 minutes you're going to get redness, burning, and the whole thing when you go to the ER, the whole thing resolves in about two days. Now, treatment, it used to be thought to give calcium gluconate. That has totally been disproven. That does not work as well as giving opo I'll get it. opioids and benzodiazepines like Valium. So a muscle relaxant, painkillers, and they feel better. Who doesn't feel better after opioids, right? 
So really the treatment is supportive, given those meds and they do well. Now there is an anti-venom, it is uh, made by Merck. It's done with horse serum, so there is a high degree of an allergic response. However, we can approach that if someone really, really needs the anti-venom and they're really not doing well, what we do is you can give just like two mLs, tiny bit, just like a TB test, under the skin, create a wheel, and watch it. Within 10 minutes, you're going to see an allergic reaction. If they have an allergic reaction, then clearly we're not going to give the anti-venom. <laughs> the other thing you can do is the conjunctiva in the eye. You can put a diluted drop. I think it's like 1 to 100. A little tiny drop in the eye. Watch if the eye turns red and they start itching. That's also a good way to check to see if they have an allergic response. Um, local treatment, if you know you've been bitten by a black widow, ice, cold compresses, wash it with soap and water, uh, ibuprofen, Tylenol for pain, and a histamines for itching, the go-to to almost every presentation, and then get to the ER so they can do labs and check you out. If you can bring the spider in, that would be awesome. Uh, and that's what you're going to do if you're in the outdoors and these guys hide under brush piles, uh, garages, basements, very dark areas. If you really like and are interested in spiders or if you just have, uh, if you're intrigued by these little guys, it's a great website. It's called spidersid.com, spidersid.com, that's singular. This website, you can submit pictures of the spiders you find and it'll classify them there are experts on there it is an excellent website i use it all the time spiderid.com check it out that is our latroductus our black widow uh, if you have any questions write them down below if you have additions to this video add them down below if you like it give me a thumbs up please subscribe it really helps till next time keep your eyes on the horizon your face to the wind take care guys